Hey, do you want to learn how to create a simple photo slideshow in Camtasia just like the one you're watching right now? Then stick around, I'll show you how. Before we proceed, if you're new here, on this channel, we make unique and awesome photos and video slideshows and video editing tips and tricks tutorials. So if you want to see more of content like this, consider subscribing. Alright, welcome to another video on this channel. Just want to tell you that this happened to be my first slideshow tutorial using Camtasia. This is not the first time I'm using Camtasia anyway because I use it to record my tutorials. But this is the first time I want to use it to make a slideshow and it's quite you know, good. So I hope you enjoy. And if you would like to see more content like this slideshow using this software, you should leave it in the comment below. Now get right to it. And once again, I want to thank you for being a loyal subscriber, helping me to hit my first 1,000 subscribers, thanks to you. And if you're here for the first time or you haven't subscribed yet, I'll appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button. Thanks for doing that. So, let's get right into this tutorial, shall we? Alright, open up Camtasia. Mine is already open enough. My images in my library already. You should do the same. So we can drag the images down one after the other or we can just highlight them and drag them to the timeline at the same time. So highlight the images, copy the images and paste them on another track on the timeline. Now we have two copies of our images. We're going to use one as a background and the second one as a real images. So highlight the top track images and drag them to the upper track. Let's have an empty track in the middle. That's where we're going to insert our blur for the background. So what we're going to do now is to go through all the images and make sure they are of the same size. So do the same for each of the images and make sure they are the same size. So click on the first image and let's change the scale to 20. Click on the second one and do the same thing. Change all the scale to 20. Do for each of the images one after the other. Now let's go back to the first image. Go to more and click on visual effects. Drag and drop border on the first image. As you can see, border has been applied. So let's increase the, the thickness. Let's also add shadow to it and adjust it just the way you want it. Then secondly, we can add effect to it and also make some adjustment. Get something like this. Right click on the image and copy effects. Then highlight all the other images and paste the effects right on the images. have all the effects on the first image automatically applied to all the other images so we don't have to do it one image at a time so go to more and click on behavior for the first image let's drag pop up and drop it on the first image you can do this randomly or any other way on the second image, let's let's apply fly in to the second image. Then the third image slide in, the fourth drift in and the fifth reveal. You can do this interchangeably depending on how you want it or just go randomly pick and drop any of the behavior on the image and test it and see if you don't like it you can change it if you got what you want and let's move forward so we're done with our animation let's go back and walk on the background so go to annotation drag and drop the blur on the empty track in the middle Go to the screen and expand the blur to cover the surface of the image. Then go back, click on the 
blur and expand it across all the images to apply to the rest of the images or background images. All right, let's preview it and see what we have. Isn't it awesome? If you're getting value out of this video so far, don't forget to like and share it with your friends to get the video in front of more people. So let's add some transition to our background images. So go to transition, highlight all the images, drag and drop this transition on the image and it will apply to all the images. So we're done with our animation. Now the next thing we need to do is to add some music. So Camtasia has some awesome you know, music sound there, but you can import yours. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I have some music imported already. So I'm just going to drag one and drop it. So you can do the same, drag and drop your, your music there. Just go through the music, cut out the parts you don't want. And if it's too loud, you can lower the volume until you, you can tweak it until you get exactly what you're looking for. Just make sure the music matches the, the pace of your transition or the pace of your slideshow. And if you're done with that, I think that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. This is Camtasia. This is a great software for making tutorial. So if you enjoyed this and you would like to see more of this, you should leave it in the comment below and tell me what you would like to see next or what you will want to learn next. And I'll go ahead and make it for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you're getting value out of this video so far, don't forget to like and share it with your friends to get the video in front of more people. If you enjoyed this video, then click the next video on the screen that we handpicked for you, which I'm sure you're gonna enjoy.